Yes, yes, FM's stupid news. Okay, if you're a real estate aficionado, you have to check out the listing for this because I, I went and looked at it because I'm from around where this listing is at. Um, but this is like next level. This is like a two bedroom, two bath, condo, 815 condo. square foot condo. Yes. Now the only thing is, when you go inside the condo, you're gonna find, and, and really the the work is is meticulous on this. The yeah, walls, so look up the picture. Truly look up the yeah. picture because us describing it only right. gives you a kind of a snippet of what it is, but actually look. It, the details are there. Oh, yeah. All the walls, except for the bathrooms. Mm-hmm. Um, and the ceilings. Ceilings have it, too. Yes. The kitchens, it, it all fits. They're all beer cans. Yes, and primarily Budweiser cans. Yeah. So uh, the realtor down in Florida is going viral because she shared the pictures of this. And she yeah. said she was reached out to by the owner of this condo about a listing in Lake Worth, Florida. Mm -hmm. And she said they did in fact warn her that the entire home was wallpapered in beer cans, including the ceiling. And she said, well, you know, maybe they found beer can wallpaper, but no, no, no. No, it's actual beer cans that they've yeah. repurposed, like the ultimate reduce, recycle, reuse. The only room, again, as you said, that doesn't have it is the bathroom. She said the former homeowner, who is now defe- deceased, well, he was a lifelong fan Obviously. of the Budweiser, the Anheuser Busch beer. So yeah. he literally made it his mission in his condo yeah. for that. So if you're a fan or just think it's cool and kitschy, that might be a cool place if somebody bought to rent out on like Airbnb. You have to look at it. Go you it. have to see it. Um, We're not even doing it justice. You truly have to see it. But can you imagine being the realtor walking into that? Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, the RCMP needs your help. Yes. Uh, apparently, someone's gotten away with not one, but two crimes yeah. in Canada using the fake name company twice. This is it. Okay. Royal Mounted Canadian Police say the first incident came when a truck was subcontracted to carry meat from Alberta to the U.S., but it never showed up to do the delivery. The truck was operating under fraudulent documents and the fake name Transport Pascal Charlin Uh out of Quebec and had beef on board worth about $230,000. That's a lot of steak. Uh, Less than a week later, seven hot tubs were stolen in Thorsby, Alberta, in a truck registered out of the same Montreal suburb. Not sure if it's the same truck, but definitely the same fake company. Yeah, so watch out for them.